Where is T-Rex today? Will you jump at this one? Uh, no. Will you run and bark? No. Kind of know where I am, don't you? Uh, Rex, this way, please. Look at that. A little dwarf Alberta spruce, like the one in Weymouth. But this isn't Weymouth. That is Fallen's Pond. I and mean, yes, we're at South Venice. The crow is pointing toward the east, but it's not white caps on the water. So finally, wind has let up and we've got lilacs in bloom. Gotta love the lilacs. Mm, can you smell those? Hear the birds. This is a, a nice quiet spot here. There's the cardinals and robins. There's your robin, we got the eggs. You saw the nest last week. Fog on Cape Cod, fog in a lot of spots. Yesterday, <laughs> yesterday was extraordinary. I came down to Cape Cod, it was all cold, and drizzly and windy and went to the ocean. You'll see that a little bit later. There he is. So this is my mom's backyard right next to mine. It's kind of, where are you? I hear it. There's a cardinal. So anyhow, I get down here and it's all foggy and drizzly and then, uh, I watch Harvey Leonard. Yeah, more on that in a few minutes. Uh, and he says it's in the 80s in Vermont. It's going to be in the 80s in Vermont again today, but not quite the record. The record was 90 in northern Vermont, set in 1953 and 1911. And even northern Maine was 80, and it was 53 down here. Not much change. The wind is finally let up. Fog is going to be tough to shake at the coast, but I think it's a thinner fog, so we should be able to get some sunshine today. The temperature is going to go to the 80s. Will we be skiing at Jay this weekend? That could be close. Could be interesting. And there's going to be sort of a, a, a side door warm front coming in from the south, and it looks like we may end up with some rain over the weekend, which wasn't really in the forecast, but it looks like it's kind of spotty, probably in southern New England. Uh, it's Saturday night, so our Friday the 13th should be one of the nicer days. And Saturday, probably pretty nice, but as you can tell, the humidity is up. So we're going to have to deal with the fog at night. I would like some rain, but it's a really tough forecast, including for what's going to happen on uh, the eclipse Sunday night. It may end up being kind of cloudy. <laughs> We've got neighborhood gardens over here. It's really fun. That's Angela's, that's uh, Bert's old garden, Tim's old garden. I'm going to start a surf cast today, so we're going to go see Sean Vecchioni. A lot of a lot of moving parts here. I did look, look at the ocean yesterday. We'll see that. Uh, but the biggest news in weather is really uh, not the weather. It's the weatherman, Harvey Leonard. Congratulations. <laughs> Your first day on the air, May 9th, 1977, for that historic snow. And it looks like May 25th will be your last day on the regular television. So that's 45 years. You outdid me by 10 years. Who's going to take your place? <laughs> Phone's not ringing over here. How about you, Matt? <laughs> Where, where'd Jackie Lair go? Uh, Actually, Mike Wonkum seems positioned, and uh, Mike, now uh, it looks like you and Kevin Lemenowitz are uh, two uh, sort of biggest veterans in Boston TV. Well, congratulations, and uh, <laughs> I'll be right here on YouTube if you ever need me. I tell you, it's a bittersweet day here at Channel 5. Because after 50 years of forecasting the weather and being our dear friend, Harvey is retiring from his role. He's always going to be our friend, but he's retiring <laughs> from his role as Storm Team 5's chief meteorologist. Here's the other important part. He's not going anywhere yet. Plenty of hugs to come. He's here until May 25th, and then after that, he'll have a new role right here at Channel 5. The tremendous amount of energy and high levels of the act. Most of these 50 years have seemed more like 50 minutes to me. How can that be? But a second thread of rain that it could... never be sure what or who is a robot. That's right. Good point by you. So it's like eating up the rain like Pac-Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> By having a true passion for what you do and getting to do it in a place you love to work and live. To do something I love professionally yeah. Yeah. with people and colleagues I love, yeah. with wonderful viewers out there, and of course, uh, a tremendous. I hardly ever watch the news. The human being is special. It would 
My well model. My dog. Yeah, be here right now. Inspired me. Summer, yeah. But then yeah. in the fall, yeah. I'm real excited to still be part of the Channel 5 family and forecasting our future, which is a really important project that we've embarked yes. upon. We all know about concern about our climate, what's being done about it, what are people, companies doing, and so we hope to tell you lots of stories. The entire weather department involved in that. Well, what do you think of that, Mom? Storm Team 5 is sponsored by New England Dental Group. Speechless. There's that spring weather he was talking about. Been watching Harvey from here forever. <laughs> 